right side of me. I never thought I would see this part of me before. I took a last breath. I thought I would face them, but I always had to keep my head up, keep my head up, keep my head up. I'm What's up, Scotty? Well, nigga, I ain't expect you to be here. I, I expect you to be half dead right now. <laughs> you know, man. You know, I didn't even come here on no beef stuff, Scotty. I didn't come here to fight. I didn't come here for none of that bo that B C stuff, bro. I didn't come over here for that. I mean, I just came here to make peace. You know, the last time I, the last thing I heard from you was when you had a confrontation with my brother Kevin. It was that right? Yes, sir. So, so I'm not here on no bull crap or none of that stuff. You know, I'm just trying to make peace. Scotty, do you know the amount of pain that you put me and my family through? Nigga, I don't care, but you know of your family. I know you don't care, Scotty. I know that. You know? I mean, it ain't shocking to me. Because you obviously didn't care when you gunned me down. Because you know, bruh, you know, I done a lot of thinking. You know? Well, you spent like six months in, um, in prison. So, I just don't understand why, you know, I didn't even come over here. I'm just, I just came over here to speak my piece, and that, and that's it. You know, I didn't like what you did. You almost cost me my life. Nigga, I don't care about you. No, your friend, you came at me first. The reason I came at you first, Scotty, is because you gave my brother a gun at the time. So, uh, your, your brother was rocking with me at the time, so he needed a gun. My patience, my patience is wearing thin. You know, that confrontation between me and you today, that day, it didn't have to be like that. You got in my face that day. Yeah, I might have I might have threw the fr first punch. But then you want to start and then instead of you fighting me like a man, you wanted to pull out pistols and stuff. So why don't you just fight me like a man without being a little boy and throwing out pistols cuz really the people the dudes that pull out pistols, they don't want to fight for real and that makes them little punks. Nigga, I know you ain't calling out a punk cuz I'll show you what a punk is. For the last time, Scotty. I wasn't calling you no punk. I was just saying the dudes that pull out pistols, they're punks because a real man will use the fist if they want to do that stuff. And that's not even right. Fighting is not the answer, bruh. You know, um. Man, don't come to me with that soft talk, man. It's like I'm never gonna get through this. I'm never gonna get through this, dude. Why did I even come? Waste my time even coming here. You remember that time you had me? You had me gunned down over there. You remember? Yeah. Dude, I don't care, nigga. I don't. I don't know why you were here. You know what, dude? You know what? Anyway, I forgive you, Scotty, for what you did, and that's it. And I hope that one day that you'll finally learn that this lifestyle you live in, this gangbang stuff, 
that is not the way to handle things. That's all I'm going to say. Dude, Scotty, didn't I tell you, dude, I told you, Scotty, I told you I didn't want to come over here with fighting, but I told you I didn't come in with that stuff, bro. I didn't come over here for that stuff, man. I came over here to make peace with you. I told you I didn't want to do this. I told you I didn't want to use violence. Because that's not how people in our generation need to do this stuff, man. But I had to do what I had to do because you started this violent stuff first. So I had to defend myself. So anyway, let's just get just get up. So we can talk about this stuff like men. Listen, man, let's just talk about this stuff, man. Come on. I can't believe I'm even facing the dude that shot me. You know. I'm just gonna say these few words and that's it. I'm afraid to leave. Listen, I'm just gonna say I hope the best for you in your life. You almost took in my life, but I wish the best for you in life. And and I'll just leave. And I hope that one day that you'll learn that this game bang life stuff is not the way to handle things. And violence ain't the answer. Nor shooting people or doing anything to people. Violence is never the answer. And I hope you just leave this gang life alone. And for the rest of your life. So I came here to speak my piece and I'm gone. I'm gone. One if this is the person that I admired Afraid to face all the challenges All the scars, all the pauses All the stars, all the causes